Ah, Ben Rapers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to be able to make uh, this video here in this lovely little chapel. This is just an ordinary house and um, belongs to a, a, a Palmarian family. And um, they have it all nicely decorated for my visit. Um, this is just all set up for my visit. So I, uh, it's nice to come here, celebrate mass. And we get quite a few people that come here for Holy Mass. And um, it's just an example of what it is to be, be a Palmarian. Becoming a Palmarian Catholic is not just becoming what we would call a Sunday morning Catholic that you just come to Mass on Sunday and forget about. No. Um, if you want to be a Palmarian Catholic, you've got to be prepared to sacrifice and give a lot to get a lot. We get a lot from being Palmarians. The Palmarian Catholics are people that are very devout to God, to a blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph. And they all have something very in common, which is a great love for the Holy Mass. They love to receive Holy Communion and get the sacraments. So when there is no chapel, well, the faithful, and um, they prepare uh, altars in their houses, like you see here. And um, not all people have the same amount of money uh, this is a nice house it belongs to some people that have a fairly comfortable way of life so the altar is very nice and but in other circumstances it may the house may be very poor and the altar would not be quite as spectacular so anyway we do our best and the faithful go to a lot of trouble to prepare the altar and to prepare everything that the missionary needs for the visit because we go to a lot of places around the world that don't have chapel, so we just celebrate mass in the houses, or in apartments, or whatever, in hotels. Uh, even in hotels, we do uh, we make an effort to make them nice, you know. And um, being a Palmarian Catholic is something that you have to be prepared for suffering. You gotta be prepared for suffering and for joy. You see, because when you suffer. And you offer this to our Lord for the salvation of souls, to help the souls of poverty, for conversions, to help the dying. Then God rewards you and he fills you with interior blessings. See, interior blessings can be spiritual joy that make you feel wonderful inside. And the suffering is nothing compared to the spiritual effects of suffering. The greatest proof of all, the greatest proof of benefit from suffering is Christ dying on the cross and Jesus dying on the cross opens heaven for us so this is the most, most fantastic thing of all you know that Christ suffering so much uh, brought so much good about it but to us you know opening heaven is because now we can all go to heaven for eternity for suffering so um, we when we suffer in our lives Jesus as well gives us graces and we are able to help other people to save their souls. If you want to become a Palmarian Catholic, you've got to be willing to pray. You know, you've got to pray your rosary. You've got to, there's a lot of prayers to be done. You've got to do spiritual reading to be able to educate yourself on how to respond, how to react to sufferings. Okay? You've got to learn to be patient to accept sufferings with patience, resignation, and that way receive graces from heaven, and your sufferings will help other people. And there is a lot to be gained from being in the church. Peace, happiness. Um, <clears throat> so you probably asked me, how do we know we're in the true church? How did a Palmarian faith know that they're in the true church? Well, there is one very important issue, and that is the power of our prayers. The Palmarian faithful, when they pray for things, they get them. And so that's where the, the real sign comes for them. You know, they, they pray devoutly, and then they say three Hail Marys for something, and they get what they ask for. So the power of prayer is one of the big things that make it all real being in the true church the power of, of prayer of the priest the priest pray on the altar pray at holy masses to get graces get to obtain whatever and they get them and listen we don't we we 
and when all the church prays together for some intention, we get what we ask for, and a lot more that we have even asked apart. So just remember that the power of prayer, and um, we teach the faithful to pray a lot. The more you pray, the better. Take time to pray. There's no excuse for not having time to pray. And even if you're working, you can accompany that with prayer. So th the more you pray, the better. So um, that's when what I would like to say this time, Alan. Just remember that um, you can see for yourself what it means to be a Pomeranian Catholic. We have the altar in the house. And um, obviously, if we're not celebrating Mass, it's not going to be an altar here. But some houses do have permanent altars. And um, it's really worth making an effort to have your house nicely decorated with pictures, holy pictures, so that you'll be, you know, blessed by heaven and um, get your eternal reward in the end. Ave Maria Priest.